What do you want from me, man? What do you want? Because you know what, really? I don't care about your documentary. I don't care about being in a group. What I care about is survival. This bollocks. <laughs> Going out the door music. This is hey, you gotta duck so they don't get the proper height when you're going out the door music. It's backdrops to crimes. I always saw the drums of the true punk band. They were like this arty, oddball, weirdo band. It was just balls out, and it made me feel like I belonged to something. about punk rockets, the pistols and the clash, and truth be told, the, the dam were there too. We saw them on TV, we were like, what the f is this? It was quite raucous, the whole thing. We'd shimmy along the ledge just to get in somebody's room and in their bed. This is a band that really don't give a f and we didn't give a f because we didn't have anything to lose. We weren't getting anything like that here. We needed the excitement, we needed the energy. They were better musicians than the other bands. Musicianship was not a dirty word to them. They wanted to play. Those early singles just cut straight through. We thought there were no rules at all, and that's what punk was to us. It wasn't about pigeonholing anything. I'm Johnny Rotten, and I don't care. <laughs> We had everything we'd ever dreamed of. Everything. Somehow the band managed to f it up. And I was locked up, I was in a room with bars on the bloody window. The stuff that band's gone through by rights, they shouldn't be here, they shouldn't be doing it. All the other bands were getting their major record deals, but we were out there actually on the road, living the life. It was a real punk rock band. I don't give a f if the guy next door has never heard of them. Nobody can touch what they did. One of us should have died after making one fantastic album.